Sit down. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce myself. I'm Honorable Judge Michael Caracciolo, the kid from Brooklyn. This is my courtroom. I'm always right. This is blue-collar justice. And the big man is the sole judge and executioner. Like I say, I'm always right. O.J. Simpson, guilty as charged. Robert Blake, guilty as charged. Phil Spector, he better be guilty as charged. And my favorite, Howard K. Stern. Mr. Stern, you can piss or you can piss me off. You can give me your DNA voluntarily or involuntarily. Mr. Stern, favorite, bring Mr. Stern to Europe. Give me the first kiss. All rise. The Honorable Judge Michael Caracciolo presiding, a.k.a. the big man, a.k.a. the kid from Brooklyn. Sit down. First case on the docket today, Helmick versus Jones, the amount in controversy, $1,500. Bailiff, have the two parties been sworn in? They have, Your Honor. Uh, do they both speak English? I think so, Your Honor. But you know how I hate interpreters. I can't stand interpreters. This is my courtroom, blue-collar justice. If you can't speak English, get the hell out of here. All right, let me see what's going on here. Mr. Helmick, is that your name, Mr. Helmick? Yes, Your Honor. And, uh, is it Miss or Mrs. Jones? Miss Jones, Your Ms. Honor. Miss Jones. All right, Mr. Helmick, according to the court papers, uh, you gave, uh, Mrs. Jones gave, loaned, whatever, $1,500. Is that correct? That's correct. I, I can't hear you, Mr. Helmick. Uh, that's correct. Uh, Mr. Helmick, uh, please rise. This is a court. Uh, Mr. Helmick, uh, I see you have an instrument in your ear. What exactly is that? Oh, that's part of the job, Your Honor. Part of the job? Right. Part of the job that's $250. You attempt the car pay. Your Honor, the earpiece pay is only $100. $350 contempt the court. <sighs> Does it look sunny in here to you, Mr. Helmick? Does it look like a sunny day in here? What's with the sunglasses? Well, you know, they're, they're, you know I need them. Yeah. Bailiff, take the sunglasses. That's, you're up to four this fifty. This is a ripple. And the way you came dressed here today, I'm putting another fifty dollars on. It's five hundred dollars in contempt of court. This is the way you dress. It's a dress code. Room. But just, just slow down, Mr. Helmet. You're claiming you gave Mrs. Jones fifteen hundred dollars alone. You look like to me you came out of a homeless shelter, rich picker. You come to my courtroom dressed like a bum. What do you think? What do you think, baby? You think this guy's a bum? I mean, look look at the way he's dressed. He shows up at my courtroom. A Imagine a nervous this guy coming to my courtroom dressed like them. Well, what's your take on him? He's a bum, Your Honor. He's a bum. That's what I say. He's a bum. All right, Mr. Helmick, I want to ask you a couple of questions here. Uh, before I get all riled up, you claim you gave Mrs. Jones loaned up $1,500. Exactly what was the $1,500 for? Why did you loan up $1,500? Well, Mrs. Jones lives, uh, you know, in the same building that I do. And uh, one day, uh, the door, somebody knocked at the door, and it was Mrs. Jones. Mm -hmm. I think she's got a little bit of a problem with the home shopping network, kind of like a home, shop, uh, home shopping network uh, junkie. Mm -hmm. Said she wanted to get her hands on some jewelry right away. Total value was 6000 and she wanted 1500 1500 Was there any vigor issue involved? Was there any interest involved uh, in well, this 1500 uh, you know, hey, alone? hey, come on, Your Honor. You know. You know uh, the deal. No, I don't know. Well, what are you saying plain? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean I know? Well, you know, the vig will be worked out between Mrs. Jones. It'll be Jones worked out and... between you. Now, let me ask you this question. You say you gave her $1,500. You loaned her. Excuse me, you loaned her. Is that correct? You loaned her $1,500? Yes. Now, let me ask you this question. How'd you pay it? Did you give her a check, money order? Cash, how did you give Mrs. Jones this $1,500? I gave her cash, 15 $100 bills. You expect me to believe Bayless? This guy comes in my court dressed like a bum, and you telling me you gave her $1,500 in cash. Is that what you're telling me? That's correct. What were the denominations of the bills? Were they tens, twenties, They were one hundreds. $100 bills. You gave her 15 $100 bills. That's what you're telling me. Yes. Was there any witnesses around when you gave her this 15 $100 bills? Was there anybody that could come to this courtroom and swear in front of me that 
They saw you give up fifteen hundred dollars in cash. Your Honor, what I do for a living, there aren't too many witnesses. What you do around. for a living? God only knows what you do for a living. Sit down, Mr. Helmick. I'm tired of your uh, uh, nonsense here. Uh, this is Jones. Let me hear a little bit from you. Your Honor, he never gave uh, me any stand money. Stand up. And what's with the sunglasses? What do you think? You're a movie star? Bailiff. Oh, $100 contempt of court for the sunglasses. Let me hear your side of the story. Your Honor, he never gave me any money. Nothing. He's a liar. He never gave me nothing. You got a lot of nice jewelry you're wearing there. Where'd you get that jewelry? It looks like fine jewelry to me. An admirer, Your Honor. Admirer? An I'm admirer? What are, you, what, what are you kidding hey. me? Sit down. You know, Let me they, you know, down. Sit the down. They don't bring you anything, any jewelry. Sit down. Bailiff. <clears throat> Your Honor, he's jealous. He's jealous? Yes. And you telling me you got this money from admirers to buy that jewelry? Yes. The only admirers she has, you know, they bring her, They all they do is bring Listen, her syphilis. That's all they bring I'm her. I'm tired of your bullshit. That's another hundred dollar fine. Swallow that gum. What'd you think? I didn't notice it? Swallow the gun, or you're gonna do 30 days in jail. This is a court. Move justice power. Please continue. You your mouth? Your Honor, he never gave me anything. Not anything. And you're telling me you have how many admirers bought you that fine jewelry? A few admirers. A few admirers yes, bought you Honor. that jewelry. Yes, Your and Honor. That's what you're telling me. I'm a nice person. They you're like me. You're a nice me. person. I wish I was a nice person and people bought me that kind of jewelry. Uh, it's going to take me uh, three minutes, uh, maybe three seconds to decide this gave Bailiff. Uh, Bailiff, I'm getting a little hungry. Uh, order me the usual six uh, scrambled eggs uh, sandwiches with uh, on a hard roll. Get me two cups of coffee uh, and uh, two orange juices. Uh, I'm going to eat while I'm on a stand. I don't want to waste the taxpayer's money. You know, I'm a little hungry now. Tell them, yeah, make sure they get it here hot. Make sure they get it here hot. Yeah, this is uh, Bailiff Johnson. We're going to need the uh, judge as usual. We send that right up to Chambers. Make Thank sure you. it comes here hot. Hey, make sure it's hot. About three minutes, maybe three seconds to decide this case. This is a tough one, eh, babe? <laughs> I mean, the bolties. I mean, what, what do I look like? A monkey to you? First of all, Mr. Helmick. You're claiming you gave this woman fifteen hundred dollars in cash, and you know what? And, and beside that, there was no witnesses around when you gave her the fifteen. That's right, Your Honor. Right. She's claiming, just a minute, order in a court. She's claiming that you never gave her the money. Who should I believe here? You got to believe me, Your Honor. No, you're a liar. Not a liar. You're a liar. Look at all the jewelry that she's wearing, Your Honor. Look at all the jewelry that she's wearing. I didn't like you before, and I like you less now. Order in the court. He's a liar. Please sit down. Please. This is a very simple case. Mr. Helmet, you come to my courtroom dressed like a bump, like a rags picker. You can't, you look like to me, you can't even afford a cup of coffee. Not even at Starbucks you can afford a cup of coffee. And you're telling me you gave this woman $1,500 in cash? You don't even have a decent shirt on in my courtroom. You... I'm disgusting with you too. You got all kinds of admirers giving you jewelry. But you I don't be, lie, you're right. You He's should a liar. be ashamed of yourself. Anyway, the big man rules in favor of the defendant. Mr. Helmet, yo, five hundred dollars. Look at all the jewelry she's Mr. wearing. Mr. Helmet, five hundred dollars in contempt of court. Don't make me go to six hundred. Mrs. Jones, you owe one hundred dollars in contempt of court. Please pay on the way out. Don't let me see the two of you in my courtroom ever again. Case dismissed. Thank Taylor, you, throw this bum out and escort this lady out. Next Thank you, case. Your Honor. Next case. Thank you, Your Honor. If you're ever in the neighborhood, come and visit me. Well, you can sure as hell if I come and see, see you. We won't be watching the Home Shopping Network. Case dismissed.